as an otter. The excitement came to an end when a game warden took Blizzard. Yeah, this is, this is the way it's supposed to be. To a nearby creek where, let's just say, he finally fits in. Oscar, what a cutie. It was an incredibly close call of a potentially deadly situation for firefighters. Find out what happened after the break. And later, you may notice the zeros adding onto your, your utility bill now that we're stuck in the middle of summer. We've got tips on how you can save money there later in the show. Jordan? And maybe, just maybe, you could start tomorrow giving the air conditioner a bit of a break. I'm not saying shut it off because we're still going to warm into the mid 80s, but that's a little bit below average in terms of, well, early July. Why? A little more rains in the forecast. Details coming up. Putting the valley first. Mary Stackhouse. Your pinpoint weather with meteorologist Jordan Dressman. And sports with Charity Chambers. You're watching WZBX News first at 9. This is the place I love. There's something special, something crazy good about this town. Yeah, this is where my world goes round. I got my local all in the valley is where I belong. WCDX is everywhere I go. Turn it on and it feels right. Yeah, the valley's home. I got my local. The July 4th sale at Furniture Row has been extended. Every dining table, every bed and bunk bed, and all sofas are on sale. Plus, up to four years no interest. Don't miss your chance to save at Furniture Row. The new two for four mix and match breakfast at Hardy's. Get any two of our breakfast favorites for just four dollars. You feeling Frisco and bacon, sausage and bacon, or bacon and bacon? Go hard at the Hardy's with the new two for four dollar mix and match. You didn't come here for this, or to waste that. You came here to be this, to do that, to find your passion, your purpose. See, when you get here, you feel it. And when you leave, you take it all with you. This is where you get it becomes, I got it. And when you got it, that's when it really gets going. Still following? Good, because soon you'll be leading. That's why here will take you there. And there is what here is all about. Jacksonville State University, you just know. The new two for four mix and match breakfast at Hardee's. Get any two of our breakfast favorites for just four dollars. You feeling Frisco and bacon, sausage and bacon, or bacon and bacon? Go hard at the Hardee's with the new two for four dollar mix and match. The July 4th sale at Furniture Row has been extended. Every dining table, every bed and bunk bed, and all sofas are on sale. Plus, up to four years no interest. Don't miss your chance to save at Furniture Row. Tonight's weather is sponsored by AFS Foundation and Waterproofing Specialists. And now, your WCDX Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Jordan Gressman. Well, it seemed like the vast majority of your Saturday was absolutely perfect. We saw a little bit of sunshine. Temperatures were actually a couple degrees below average, and there were a couple clouds to hide the sun every now and again. And then dinner time happened, and we saw plenty of shower and thunderstorm activity. And as a matter of fact, Pinpoint Viper is still picking up on some of that activity, even as we get into the early part of the evening. And if you happen to find yourself under one of those heavier bands of shower and thunderstorm activity, you notice it actually put down quite a bit of rain at the Huntsville International Airport. We officially picked up 0.9 inches. You head over to Athens, we saw 0.7 inches. Rain seemed to be rather localized. Some folks didn't even pick up a tenth of an inch. Good job, Florence. You were minimal at best. You saw 0 0.05 inches of rain. Now, I am pretty confident that it is going to taper off heading into the evening through the course of the overnight, but the opportunity for rain is in the forecast every single day next week. Now, of course, it does shrink the later we get into the week, but it's still definitely there. By tomorrow morning, we are waking up relatively dry. You can see future casts trying to hint at a possible shower or thunderstorm early across southern middle Tennessee. But again, many of us are going to wake up dry. Some scattered shower activity begins to push its way into the area as we get into the later part of Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. But again, scattered is going to be the theme. We're going to repeat this process once again on Monday morning. We're starting the day dry. A few clouds hanging out with us will probably start warm and with a fair amount of sun 
sunshine. But then as we go throughout Monday afternoon, look what we do once again. We're still talking about scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. Scattered is going to be the key word. It's more of an annoyance than it is anything else. As far as highs, we're concerned this afternoon. We actually again stayed a few degrees below average Huntsville. You saw a high of 90 degrees average for this time of year is right around 91. Everybody else Look at this. You managed to hang out in the mid and upper 80s. Ignore that molten number. I'm pretty sure that's an air. There's no way they only made it to 78 degrees. We're going to do the exact same thing tomorrow. We warm rather gradually. We start the day in the low to mid 70s. That's where we should be in terms of an average low, but then we warm into the mid and upper 80s. Why? Because it does look like some of those showers and thunderstorms are going to push their way into the Tennessee Valley, just like they will every single day next week. And for that reason, we're actually going to be rather slow to warm up. I've got a string of 91s for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's an error on Friday. Do not get too excited. That is me making a typo. It is not going to be 80 degrees. That should probably be a 90. This you think? seems to be a trend that we're seeing, like mm -hmm. all the rain clouds, like from week to week, but at least it makes it a little bit cooler. Okay, and you can still tan like through the first exactly. half of the day. Exactly. Unfortunately, the first half of the day is when we're all at work. Yes, which I'm sure you guys at home are happy about too. Well, check out this next video. So this is an incredibly close call of a potentially deadly situation for responding firefighters. This is footage of inmate firefighters escaping to safety as they nearly became trapped by the flames. The fire got incredibly close to them, leaving them with no choice but to escape the trenches. Thankfully, they all made it out OK. But as you can see, things could have gone really bad for them. A broken bone during the summer may not be so bad anymore thanks to improved technology. Check it out when we come back. This is the place I love. There's something special, something crazy good about this town. Yeah, this is where my world goes round. I got my local. The July 4th sale at Furniture Row has been extended. Every dining table, every bed and bunk bed, and all sofas are on sale. Plus, up to four years. It's not just any internet. It's the fastest internet that can now include mobile. It's you can get up to five mobile lines and now, your dad of the year internet. Nice job. It's internet from Xfinity that makes your life simple, easy, awesome. See how you can save when you add Xfinity Mobile to your internet. Get started with Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Click, call, or visit a store today. Making my way back home from the grocery store, I was struck by an 18-wheeler, and soon I discovered I needed help. I'm attorney Alexander Shannon, proud to be from Alabama and a man for the people of Alabama. If you need me, call me Alabama. Every day could be your best day if every night you had your best night's sleep. Now through Monday at Rooms to Go, shop the latest Tempur-Pedic mattresses and get 88-month interest-free financing. Get your best night's sleep starting at just $23 a month for a queen mattress. As a Tempur-Pedic elite retailer, Rooms to Go brings you the unmatched comfort of a Tempur-Pedic mattress and an incredible finance offer with payments starting at $23 a month, interest-free for 88 months. Now through Monday, only at Rooms to Go. McDonald's one two three dollar menu has new choices, so you can take your pick of morning faves for just one, two, or three bucks. So even if you always get that one thing, you can try another thing, like a two dollar buttermilk crispy chicken biscuit. Just look at it, made with juicy white meat chicken, deliciously crispy on the outside, tender and juicy on the inside, on a warm buttermilk biscuit. Seen enough? Well, what are you waiting for? Build your breakfast with new choices from McDonald's one two three dollar menu. I'm Candy from Auburn, Alabama, and I called you, Alexander Shannara, and you helped me. Alexander Shannara got me $550,000. I'm attorney Alexander Shannara. If you've been injured in an accident, call me, Alabama. Covering Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fayetteville. You're watching WCBX News, first at nine. 
A pharmaceutical company wants patients to heed warnings about 12 recalled medications. Novartis recalled certain pills in blister card packages, including Zofran and Dunepacil. There's nothing wrong with the medicines themselves. The problem lies in the packaging. It doesn't meet U.S. standards for child resistance. One child has ingested medication from one of the packs. The same prescriptions in bottles are not affected by the recall. The U.S. Postal Service has been slapped with a $3.5 million fine over, mis over a mishap involving its forever stamp. The stamp appeared to show the Statue of Liberty, but it's actually a smaller replica located in Las Vegas. Its sculptor later sued the USPS for copyright infringement. A federal judge agreed yesterday and ordered the service to pay the fine. The service said it didn't know the image was not the original. A broken bone during summertime may not be so bad anymore. With improved technology, a waterproof cast is a great option. Brennan McDavid has more on this story. Starting summer with a break, literally. I was roller skating and trying to do a trick I didn't even learn yet, kind of being a daredevil. Instead of landing on her feet, 10-year-old Kylie Dugan landed on her left arm. It felt like a million needles inside, like, poke, like poking my my muscle and my bone just felt like out of place. This isn't her first broken bone, but it is her first waterproof cast. The uh, technology has gotten significantly better. Uh, they're easier to dry, they're easier to put on. Dr. Michael Beckish says he treats 50 to 100 fractures per week during the summer. We spend a lot of time putting casts on, taking casts off. 20 years ago, you had to wrap it up in trash bags to keep it from getting wet. It was a miserable experience. You had a plaster cast put on, it took 20 or 25 minutes to put it on. You had to wait for it to dry. Now Beckish says the inside liner is water resistant, while the padding and cast itself are waterproof. Just make sure they drain it, let the excess water out. Add 16 color options, and wearing a cast just got a whole lot more fun. That's all that's important to a kid is they can draw on it, and they can get it wet. Good job, buddy. If you could just put me in the ocean, I would be, I would stay there. Love your high school senior portrait, or not so much? A team at One Library is digitizing yearbooks from the past and making them available online. Check it out when we come back. Step right up, it's straight up a loser at University Gear. Right now, get up to $10,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Bay for any trade. Drive home a new 2018 Kia sold for $139 per month. Visit universitykia.com today. Window World, America's largest replacement window company, has earned the Good Housekeeping Seal for the seventh year in a row. At Window World, not only do we stand behind our windows, we stand on them. Strong reasons for you to choose Window World. Simply the best for less. I got hurt in a car wreck and I got some questions. If I miss work and a paycheck, can I ask for that money back in a settlement? Can I settle my case without going to court? Shouldn't I just trust the insurance company to give me what's fair? Don't worry, we answer these kinds of questions every day. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, call us. We've got this. I called Mack and Hamner, and they got me over $290,000. They've got this. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, call us. We're Mack and Hamner. We've got this. Call 333-5000. Are you looking to sell your house fast? If so, Red Key Properties is Huntsville's premier real estate solutions company. Our goal is to help homeowners resolve difficult situations and improve our community. We buy houses in any condition at all price ranges. We will buy your house as is so you are not responsible for any remodeling or repairs. There are no fees, upfront costs, commissions, or hidden charges. Red Key Properties is ready to make you an offer today. Call 256-414-2333. When disaster strikes, when duty calls, and when others are in need, they go first. Now it's time to put them first. Ford thanks those who go further for all of us. First responders, all military personnel, veterans and retirees can now get appreciation cash on top of all other public offers. All from Ford, America's best-selling brand. Visit FordSalutesThoseWhoServe.com. One more reason, Window World is America's number one replacement window company. Our lifetime transferable warranty. At Window World, not only do we stand behind our windows, we stand on them. Call for your free in-home estimate. Window World, simply the best for less. Step right up, it's straight up a loser at University Gear. 
Right now, get up to $10,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Value for any trade. Take home a new 2018 Kia Optima for $149 per month. Visit universitykia.com today. WZDX News First at 9 is sponsored in part by Nissan. Covering Huntsville, Hartzell, Guttersville. You're watching WCDX News First at 9. He's just 34 years old and he's now the third, the third richest person in the world. Forbes reports that Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg has passed Warren Buffett and is worth $81.6 billion. That's about $373 million more than Buffett. For the first time, the world's three richest people are all tech titans. Amazon's Jeff Bezos at $141 billion, Bill Gates at $93 billion, and now Zuckerberg. The Apple iTunes app will the Apple iTunes app store will be 10 years old on July 10th. So take a guess at what its most popular app is. iPhone's most downloaded app of all time is Facebook. The market research firm app Annie com compiled the list in second place, Facebook Messenger. YouTube is third place, followed by Instagram and WhatsApp. Google Maps, Snapchat and Skype round out the top eight. Do you wish you still look like your high school senior portrait? Maybe you hope you never see it again. But either way, a team at Boston's Public Library is making sure the past isn't done with you, even if you're done with it. David Wade reports. It's all happening in a dimly lit room on the lower level of the BPL. Page after page after page after page. Turn by hand and digitized creating an online database of yearbooks. The strange hairstyles and strange dress codes from years gone by, uh, those may be as interesting as, uh, you know, uh, historical documents, town records. That's all in there. That's right. The hair, the activities, the prom, blasts from the past. And I do mean past. Yearbooks range from the 1920s to today, a chronicle of their times. Jamal Weldon is one of the people doing the work. He's digitized. Well, uh, a ton. I lost track a long time ago. <laughs> the team has put thousands of yearbooks online from about 140 different Massachusetts cities and towns. These are people that you spent four intense years with. Tom Blake heads the effort. These were printed once. You can't call up some, some publisher or book company and say, oh, I lost my 1985 yearbook. Please send me another one. It, it's one print run and then it goes away. So this is a preservation project in many ways. Creating a second chance to relive the golden days and remember who was most likely to succeed. It tells us what was important um, within a very intense social, social context. You may notice the zeros adding on to your, your utility bill now that we're in the thick of summer. We've got tips on how you can save money there after the break. Come into Steak and Shake for hand-dipped milkshakes. Better yet, come into Steak and Shake for hand-dipped milkshakes at half price during Half Price Happy Hour. Weekdays, now 2 to 5, at Steak and Shake. When tragedy strikes, folks in Alabama show their true colors. But no challenge is too big, not for Alabama. We have real issues that affect real people, and our Attorney General must have the courage of his convictions to address these tough problems, to show civility, strength, and compassion and be the voice for our families, our communities, and our state. Because together, we are Alabama strong. Tell a great story and you'll always be remembered. We handcraft leather goods that represent who we are. When we see a leather hide full of scars, we don't see defects, we see stories. After losing a business, our home, and nearly becoming homeless, Holtz Leather was born. Just like our leather, we don't forget about those scars because they're part of our story. Invest in quality goods and your story will be told for years to come. Pepsi Cola of Decatur was founded in 1934 by Dr. James Dyer. Today, it's owned by the Shabel family and employees 140 dedicated workers that provide superior products to Coleman, Lawrence, Limestone, and Morgan counties. Proud to be giving back to the community, including helping rebuild from the recent storms, United Way, Special Olympics, and much more. So the next time you're looking for a nice cold drink, buy Alabama First with Pepsi Cola of Decatur. Alabama works when you buy Alabama First. 
I was returning from a visit with my family when my car was completely destroyed by a truck that ran a red light. I was unable to work and I needed help. I'm attorney Alexander Shannara, proud to be from Alabama and a man for the people of Alabama. If you need me, call me Alabama. I'm Janet from Selma, Alabama. I called you Alexander Shannara and you helped me. Alexander Shannara got me $100,000. I'm attorney Alexander Shannara. If you've been injured in an accident, call me Alabama. Better Pizza starts with our ingredients. That means crafting our original hand-tossed dough just right every time. Get a large barbecue chicken bacon pizza for just $11 with promo code 11BBQ. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Covering Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fayetteville. Putting the Valley first. You're watching WCBX News first at 9. Welcome back. I'm Mary Stackhouse. You may be seeing the zeros add on to your utility bill now that we're in the thick of summer, but you don't have to sit by and watch your dollars go out the window. Renata DiGregorio joins us now with tips from the experts. Renata? Mary, there are a lot of big projects you can do to become more energy efficient, but you don't have to get fancy. There are also a lot of small things you can do too, all to make sure your bill doesn't go up with the temperature. Keep the summer sun from burning into your finances. You want to make sure in the summer that the airflow is coming down so your fans are going counterclockwise. This might look like your house. It's not, but it could have run the same way. And it's the most sustainable tiny home in the state of Alabama. This teaching tool is proof you can be cost and energy efficient at the same time. So you can talk to me all day long about energy efficient measures for my house, but until I see it operating and can see that it's actually functioning and comfortable and cute, I'm probably not going to believe you. Nexus Energy Centers and Wood says if your wallet is getting a workout, first check your insulation and air filters. The fiberglass glass and the cellulose both are going to condense over time. So anything that's below here or here, depending on which kind you have, it's going to start affecting your utility bill. She says about 30% of a home's heating energy goes out the window. And for every degree over 72 on your thermostat, you can save 3% of your cooling expenses. I think a lot of times people think of energy efficiency as sacrificing something. Going green can save you green, but you don't have to go big to be energy efficient. It's really a good way to kind of break the barriers and sort of break some of the stereotypes that people have about energy efficiency. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, we want to make people more comfortable. We want to save people more money and obviously we want to save the planet. So a suggestion I like is grilling out. Kitchens are full of appliances that can produce heat and just makes your AC work even harder. Putting the Valley first, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News.